In 2012, the world's news and events were increasingly shared around the globe through social media, including Twitter. With 140 million active users worldwide, it's one of the most popular social networks and as a tool that allows virtually everyone to share their thoughts in real time in only 140 characters per post, it has not only changed the rules of how content is communicated online, but has also become a reflection of what people are talking about most, what stories they really care about. For a look at the stories that sparked the most conversation on Twitter this year, we visited the company's headquarters in San Francisco, where Twitter's manager of news and journalism, Erica Anderson, shared some fresh data calculated by the social network scientists on the trending topics of 2012. Erica, I'm going to get right to it. What were the biggest stories on Twitter in 2012? Election Day was one of the biggest moments on Twitter this year. So leading up into election, uh, during the debates, you saw 10 million tweets just around those conversations alone. And then it really spiked during election day with 327,000 tweets per minute. Um, for the entire day of election day, you had 31 million tweets. So people across the country and across the world weighing in on the U.S. election. A closer look at the Twitter conversations around the U.S. presidential election shows the Twitterverse was not always preoccupied with serious issues. One example, Governor Romney's comment on Sesame Street's Big Bird. I'm sorry, Jim. I I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. I'm going to stop other things. I like PBS. I love Big Bird. I actually like you, too. But I'm not going to keep on spending money on things to borrow money from China to pay for it. So I remember in the debate in, in Denver when they talked about um, Big Bird, and it went viral right away on Twitter. It did. Who can forget the Big Bird moment? That debate in Denver had about 10.3 million tweets. The Big Bird moment, though, got 130,000 uh, tweets per minute after it was mentioned by Governor Romney. People were creating parody accounts. They were talking about, um, should we fire Big Bird, should we not? So Big Bird became a star that night. Big Bird had a moment. Yeah, Big Bird had a Twitter moment. And what other events were big? The London Olympics, a huge moment on Twitter. There were over 100 million tweets from around the world happening during those games. Another huge moment was the Euro Cup. In fact, during the Spain versus Italy game. That was the final game. That was. It was a huge moment. And uh, there was a tweets, tweet per minute spike of 267,000. As much as Twitter can give ordinary social media users a voice, it is also a platform allowing celebrities and politicians to connect with supporters and fans. These VIP have always typically sent the most viral tweets, mainly because they typically have way more followers than others. And in 2012, that didn't change. The most retweeted tweet of the year was President Obama's tweet, four more years, with a photo of he and the First Lady, which he tweeted right before he took stage in Chicago after winning his second term. It got 800,000 retweets from 90 different countries. One of the other big moments this year was Justin Bieber's tweet expressing uh, sympathy to a fan, a young fan that had passed away. So that tweet had 220,000 retweets. What makes a tweet get that many retweets? What all those tweets have in common is that they were unique perspectives from people that, uh, from individuals that people really care about. The president no longer has um, barriers between he and that voter, you know, in the south of Florida. He tweeted out right away what it felt like and to say and establish four more years. So these really powerful, unique moments uh, between these really important figures and, and the people that care so much about what they do and what they have to say. One of the Twitter community's most used symbol to drive attention to tweets, whether it comes from someone famous or not, is the hashtag. How people apply hashtags can provide more insight into what stories users are most interested in. What were the most used hashtags this year? Well, for every single topic and every event, there was a hashtag. Some of the biggest ones, hashtag SF Giants, of course, for the World Series champs. You had a lot of fans uh, talking and using that hashtag. We also saw Syria, hashtag Syria. Um, Syria was the most trending country this year on Twitter, so a lot of people were talking about that. We also saw hashtags like hashtag now playing, which is more of a conversation starter hashtag where people would fill in the blank of what they were watching, what was now playing in their home theater. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Monica Vasuk.